Well, I am. I have been a believer for a, uh, a long time now that Manicade is uh, a key building block for our future, and a lot of people point to it as, you know, a failed program. But it is larger than France in terms of its enrollment, and in a recession, uh, and in a democratic administration, could grow even larger still. Um, you know, over a. 72 million Americans are in Medicaid right now. Now Medicaid covers a lot of different people of different classes uh, of categories I should say which is you know including uh, the dual eligibles and, and children and, and uh, uh, you know blind and disabled in some in some categories but uh, nevertheless it's still a significant portion of insurance for low-income folks. Um, and I think it's very, very important that we figure out a sustainable delivery model uh, for Medicaid that's sustainable with financially, but also in terms of quality and service and responsiveness. It can't be a second tier program. It needs to be one tailored to the needs of vulnerable populations who may have special needs because of their income or because of their health uh, status. And I think that will require innovation. I think it will require innovation at scale. Um, and new thinking about how to deliver health services uh, that perhaps combine much more social work and social services than pure medical services. And I think imaginative ways to conceive of new ways of delivering care, uh, which might involve transportation alternatives or might involve um, you know, work alternatives or or counseling alternatives that don't really look like traditional medical services. And I think um, there's some great experimentation going on, but the key is to harness those experiments, evaluate them carefully, and really drive appropriate innovation through the large systems who are capable of, of pulling this off the scale. And I think the foundation might be in a very good position to help uh, lead and galvanize that effort.